Olympian Lindsey Vaughn issues nasty ultimatum to Trump and gets worse news of her life 24 hours later. Revenge is so sweet by Amanda Shea. The Winter Olympics is just around the corner and we're already learning that the games aren't going to happen without being an anti-Trump affair. These athletes should have taken not of the devastating impact mixing politics with sports had on the National Football League, but instead decided to ruin it for themselves and everyone else. Heading off the anti-Trump attack is the 33-year-old gold medalist skier, Lindsey Vaughn. It, it's, uh, it didn't take Vaughn too long to receive her prize for disrespecting the president. Just a few short hours after refusing to represent the president of the country she's competing for, she got the worst news of her, of her career. It's strange how athletes have no problem using Trump to bring attention to themselves by making such bold public statements for how much they hate him. What's even bolder is that they never seem to learn their lesson and can't stop themselves from slandering him regardless of the massive ramifications. The latest victim of this stupidity is Vaughn, who just got what she earned when she opened her mouth and said, well, I hope to represent the people of the United States, not the president, according to CNN. Vaughn just slipped down the biggest downward slope of her career that's become all too familiar in the sports industry. Just like sponsors in the NFL fled in droves after major profit losses caused by pr protesting players, this Olympian is starting to feel the pain of making di uh, divisive statements when they don't, where they don't belong. After doubling down on her tasteless remarks by adding, I want to represent our country well, Vaughn explained, I don't think that there are a lot of people currently in our government that do that. One of her biggest sponsors realized what a liability to their business she is. Fans or are already responding to the comments in the same way they did to the national anthem nailers in the NFL. A trending hashtag, Boycott Under Armour, has already picked up a lot of steam since she made her anti-Trump statement. We've already seen that this is more than words. Pro-Trump Americans will adamantly stand by our president and do exactly as they say they will. Boycott a brand, a sport, an event, and anything else that condones anti-American attitudes. She is washed up and unlikely to even make the team Attention sneak is seeking snowflakes, just like so many other social media stars. When she fails, she'll blame being bullied and probably at real Donald Trump as the reason. Hashtag boycott Red Bull, boycott Under Armour, hashtag Lindsey Vaughn, at Lindsey Vaughn, one Twitter user posted on the social site. So Under Armour wants to attract more. Hashtag boycott Under Armour attention with Lindsey Vaughn. Okay, you got it. Boycott Under Armour. Another user by the name The Warden posted. If Red Bull, Under Armour, Hershey's, and a list of other big brands she represents want to save their good names, they better get this alpine skier to leave politics out of the sport. It's not going to end well for her or these sponsors if she continues down this steep path, nor is it worth wasting everything she's worked hard at accomplishing to say such disgusting things. It's truly astounding these talented athletes are willing to risk so much just to say something stupid. Breitbart has more on how she plans to trash Trump. Though Vaughn traveled to the White House several times during Barack Obama's presidency, including a visit accompanying then-boyfriend Tiger Woods to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in 2014, 
do not expect her to accept Donald Trump's congratulation in person after the 2018 games. When asked whether she would accept an invitation to the White House should she win in Pyeongchang, Pyeongchang, I would assume, Vaughn offered a blunt, absolutely not. <laughs> Let's also not forget that Vaughn is really not in a position to criticize others who she considers to be morally depraved, as one commenter on Breitbart's story pointed out. Nude photo shooting, Lindsay, who dated drug-addicted, philandering Tiger Woods, now appoints herself a paragon of American virtue? You want to shoot your mouth off and enter politics, baby? Run for office. You want to suck my tax dollars on the Olympic team and represent me? You keep your mouth shut and focus on skiing. Maybe you can win a medal for a change. The Olympics is a time and place where Americans come together and root for the same team. That should have been the message that Vaughn shared going into the games instead of a divisive one. It's proof that despite her claim of Trump being the divider, they are truly the ones preventing opposing sides from mending as they perpetuate the hate. Yeah, it's always them blaming the other people, the, the right, uh, that uh, I, don't, I don't see any hatred spewed out of uh, Trump's mouth, except when we're talking about Hillary Clinton. But uh, other than that, we, I, didn't, I never heard anything uh, bad. The, the, the left, they have uh, le uh, the syndrome, the mental, uh, mental syndrome, these liberal uh, idiots. That's, that's, that's what they have. Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, yeah, that's what they have. Let me know what uh, you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.